Uh, I'm Chris Chung. Uh, I'm a developer, indie developer, um, and I'm making cat lateral damage. It's a first person destructive house cat simulator. How does one come up with a first person destructive house cat simulator? Um, well, so I made the original version for a game jam, a week long game jam, and uh, the only problem was to make an interesting first person game. And I think since I grew up with cats my whole life, I've always wanted to play a game where you play as a cat. And I couldn't find a game like that. So for this game jam, I said, well, I'll just, I'll just make it. And uh, it ended up being really fun. The, the original prototype I made um, just turns out that being a cat and running around is, is actually kind of fun. So um, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's basically it. I, I wanted to play a game where he plays a cat, and I didn't find it, so I made it. <laughs> so for people that don't know, what is a game jam? Um, a game jam is usually just a set amount of time, anywhere between like an hour to a week. Uh, usually it's like 24 or 48 hours, where a bunch of people get in a room, um, and or it could just be one person, like me. Um, and there's usually a theme, and you just crank out a game in that short amount of time. Um, and it's good for just finishing something quick, uh, prototyping a, a neat idea. Um, and yeah, it's just, you know, boiling down game development to a really small, tiny, short experience just so you can get something done instead of working on a project for a long time. So with, with Cat Lateral Damage, when that, that first demo hit the internet, you got a lot of attention <laughs> from all over the place. Like you were on Time, you were on Kotaku, mm -hmm. like, uh, how did that, how did that work for you? Like, did you, were you expecting that? Or is that just, just out of the blue? Yeah, uh, I really wasn't expecting it. Because, um, I mean, it, I guess it's kind of selfish, but I made the game for me because it's a game I wanted to play. Um, I didn't really intend to, like, sell it when I first made it. But I was posting it on Reddit's game dev community just to get feedback um, every few weeks. Because um, I made the game in August of 2013. And I had been posting it every few weeks up until January. And that's when some sites picked it up and it kind of exploded everywhere. And I didn't, I, I think someone must have saw it on Reddit and then they posted about it and then other big sites kind of posted about it and it kind of just exploded. But um, I think it was really just people really like cats on the internet and they hadn't seen a game like this. So it kind of, that's kind of how it got popular, I think. Um, but really I didn't do much marketing at all. I just <laughs> was putting it up online, you know, for a few people and people found it. Cool. So you guys then you went to uh, to Kickstarter, mm -hmm. and uh, you guys succeeded. So congratulations. Oh, it's been you. it's been a while, but uh, throw that in there. But uh, how was that experience of of asking people to fund your game? Um, yeah, it was great. I mean, I've always like I followed Kickstarters and uh, backed a few of them. Um, but yeah, I mean, actually, I mean, running the campaign was a lot of work, but. Uh, I was actually I was really happy with how our page looked and how everything just kind of came together. And I think since we got all the press back in January, when we launched Kickstarter in June, mid-June, um, people had already heard of it or they were hearing about it for the first time and they still liked the idea. Um, and I think the fact that our Kickstarter video had real life cats in it really helped. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think it, it's great because I was able to show people that like this is a really personal game to me and I really like the concept and other people like the concept so it was really easy to say you know I need help making this game and like please please help us out and people were were really happy to to fund the idea for the project and then um, I mean we had some cool rewards like uh, you could get a picture of your cat in the game which I think people really like because people really like their cats so um, I think that really helped too just incorporating people's uh, not just their themselves as like gamers playing a game but them as pet owners and having their cat actually be a part of this you know, so it's kind of just like a big, a big love letter to everybody's cats. <laughs> so you guys, you brought your game to Boston Fig. Why did you decide to come here? Um, I, I think, you know, a lot of people have heard about the game uh, through the internet, and they may have played like a demo online, but uh, I think it's really, there's really some value to showing it in person, so people can play it, uh, you know, at a, in a conference setting, and actually talk to the developer behind it, because i at other conventions and stuff, people are really excited to, to meet me since I'm the, you know, I'm, I'm the only developer on the game, like, doing everything. Um, people really like to meet the person who's making the game, and then, you know, we can talk about cats and just um, have a good time. I think that interaction is really helpful. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm from Boston, the Boston area, so just, like, 
taking the tea down here. It's, it's, it's really easy to just kind of come by and, you know, I, I live and work here, so it's, 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 I think it's like the closest convention to us. And it's, you know, it's, it's great to just be around other indies and, you know, just in this big indie, indie focused event. Should the average gamer care about Boston City? Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, um, you know, the past few years has been kind of like a surge of indie games. And, uh, I mean, I, I would argue that they're probably on par with AAA games now. So I think, um, you know, just, just from a market or industry standpoint, they're, they're a pretty big chunk. So, I mean, if, you're, if there's a gamer who's usually playing AAA games, they should probably pay attention to indie games. And also, I think uh, if you take, like, 10 AAA games and 10 indie games, you get way more variety and interesting things with indie games, as opposed to AAA games you usually get, like, nine shooters and, like, <laughs> an RPG where indie games is just so much variety and so much interesting stuff to see. So, yeah, I think, I think people should definitely be paying attention to indies. If someone wants to check out Cat Lateral Damage or learn more about you, um, where should they go? Yeah, um, you can just go to catlateraldamage.com. Um, you can find out stuff about the game, see screenshots, videos. Um, and there's actually a, a link to play the demo online, too. So um, you can just play it in your browser with the, the Unity web plugin. Uh, and you can also download uh, Windows, Mac, and Linux builds of the game.